What separates EDIs from other companies is we're a small family oriented business and we take ownership in everything that we build. Um, when it goes through the gates at EDI, uh, we believe in it 100%. In the fast growing oil and gas industry, speed, portability, and reliability are key factors. Downtime is lost revenue. This vapor recovery unit is an integrated plug and play system that requires minimal maintenance. But not every VRU is the same. It's a complex, highly engineered system designed for reliable performance in a variety of harsh conditions. For a VRU like this to operate efficiently over time, the package has to be engineered and assembled using standards set by the manufacturer. In this video, we will explain the right way to evaluate the quality of your VRU system assembly and we'll show you how to get the most productivity out of your unit for years to come. A quality VRU consists of a number of components, but the first thing that is needed is a highly qualified partner who can evaluate your project and engineer a custom-designed vapor recovery unit that fits the needs of your application. The heart of the VRU system is the compressor, in this case a Blackmer HD612 oil-free reciprocating gas compressor. By their nature, any reciprocating machine will create unbalanced forces and moments. The powerful movement of the rotating parts can create shaking forces, which could result in unit vibration if not properly installed and anchored to a suitable base plate that should be at least four times the weight of the compressor. All reciprocating vertical compressors generate shaking forces due to a variety of factors inherent in their design and construction. Much like a car engine, an inferior design can lead to rough idling across the entire chassis. For a VRU, the skid is the chassis, the foundation for stability. Typical VRU operating conditions and pressures require a sturdy, rugged design, both in the system but also the compressor itself. With a properly mounted compressor, the unit should not vibrate. For best results, VRU installations should be mounted on an extra heavy base plate and bolted directly to a concrete slab. When possible, the VRU unit should be set up on a level surface. The pad should be prepared and graded if necessary. Do not install a VRU in non-compacted soil. Often in oil and gas fields, the skids are not anchored down. This makes the mass weight of the skid even more critical. Working with someone uh, like Blackmere uh, means the world to us because Blackmere echoes what we believe in. Thank you.